Okay, hi guys, this is Danny from Windows Mac 1. As you can see, uh, sometimes I actually have these kind of stuff on my videos, doesn't matter. Okay. Now I have this stuff on my video, this is pretty cool, isn't it? On the, my other video that you see, I didn't have this, because I found it out how you can actually do this, and I thought it would be pretty nice to show it to you. So as you can see, this is a pretty cool tool, but now I'm going to show you how to actually install this and do all the stuff you want to. It's pretty cool, isn't it? This apparently does only work for Vista, but as you can see, I'm using this all the time. As you can see, that I've task manager, everything. I'm using this all the time. So, first thing that you want to do is go to windowsedge.com, probably, and uh, you want to just click in save this just open it actually okay and then you want to go to you want to go to taskbar properties and you want to you want to tick all of this because your taskbar probably will not look like as cool as mine you want to probably look something like this now, so you want to click out to hide, use small icons, and top, like, apply. Now, because that's low loading, this link, you want to look for, uh, up to, uh, probably will appear as like this or this. Both of these will be in the descriptions, but because I like this more, I'm going to set it as my desktop background. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, now I think the upper launch is going to take a bit of a second, so. You want to go to Safari. And there are all the links. Every single link will be in the description. Safari. Now we will probably go to Safari. Just wait a second. And we want to download the Safari. This will also be in the descriptions. So we for this to load up. Now we'll probably ask you for email address so I'm just going to say blah 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 dot yeah dot com they wouldn't believe me that this is address so I'm just going to use this kind of we're going to use a real address to be honest with windows one download now and you want to open it Okay, so once you've done that, you probably can't see how they have any icons, but as soon as I click this, millions of crap icons, isn't it? You probably have exactly the same problem as me. You have millions of icons all the time. Empty recycle bin. Just make sure. Now you probably want to put some other stuff like this. So you want to go to V. And you want to show this component. On click show this component. Now this should already be already so it's waiting for actually this. So I'm not going to wait, make you wait. Okay, so you want to probably click Arca Launcher then Safari. You can't obviously install both of these at a time. So I'm going to start with Safari and then my activities, blah blah blah. This still doesn't really matter now. This is going to go now. I'm going to select all the stuff you want. So, basically, because I got actually Rocket Launcher installed, I don't need to. So, get okay, Safari installed just now. So, the Rocket Launcher, as soon as I click on it, this will come up with this kind of stuff. You will have this stuff on it. So, just now. That, that's pretty much all the stuff that comes up with in Max. Now as you can see I've got, I don't know why, but it shows me two. So I'm just going to exit one dog. Yeah, okay. Which, as you can see, is pretty cool. So, it's a nice to install it. Now as you can see, this pretty everything is pretty cool. Now, uh, hold on, let me minimize it. This will minimize it into the dock as well. So, So, 
in Safari that installs Xcells. Now you want to just click view on your desktop probably. And you want to drag Safari into this. And click this as well. And I this is basically you've done everything. Now you so we want to actually remove all these separates because they look pretty bad. I don't think they have them on the Mac. Remove separator. Remove separator. Yeah, so if you drag it out, it will automatically delete itself. Just because you have cool features now, but as soon as you actually... This will print screen stuff, as soon as you click on this, this will not come up with the calculator. The only thing that's real is I shut. I So that will actually shut down or whatever you want to do with this computer. So every single link will be in the descriptions. And thank you for watching this quick tutorial told you on how to make your computer look like Mac. Now there's actually quite a lot of things, so that's basically all you